galaxy in which we live. Dear, we live in the Milky Way galaxy. Are there many other galaxies like that in the universe? Yes, there are many other galaxies like ours. The universe is very vast. Look up at the night sky. The moon glows brightly and as far as the eyes can see, the stars sparkle like tiny diamonds. We can all the earth has a fantastic variety of life. The presence of atmosphere, the presence of water, and filtered axis of the earth are the important factors that help to support life on the planet. The moon, the natural satellite of earth, has no air, water, or atmosphere. Therefore, it has no life. Like the earth, the moon rotates on its axis. As it orbits, it completes one complete revolution every 27 and one third days. The moon too has gravitational pull. The gravitational force of moon is that of one sixth that on the earth. For example, if a person weighing 60 kg on earth, he will weigh only 10 kg on the moon. The moon too exerts strong gravitational force on our earth. The important effects of lunar gravity are seen on the oceans and seas on the earth. Due to the lunar gravity, high tides and low tides are formed on the earth. Do you know the moon's gravitational force is very slowly decreasing the speed of the rotation of the earth? As a result, our days grow about 1000 of a second longer every 100 years. Moon is receding from the earth at the rate of 3 cm per year. The moon would have moved about 29 kilometers further away from Earth. When we go into a dark room, we are not able to see the object around us till we switch on the light. Objects around us are visible only when there is light. We cannot see objects around us in total darkness. Objects like the sun, stars which emit their own light are called luminous objects. Objects like planets and precious stones, we do not have their own light but reflect the light falling on them are called non-luminous objects. Some objects allow light to pass through them completely. These objects are called transparent objects. Some objects do not allow light to pass through them. We cannot see the objects on the other side. These objects are called opaque objects. Some objects allow the light to pass through it partially. We can see the objects on the other side, but only faintly. These objects are called translucent objects. Examples, butter paper and ground glass. Shadows are formed when opaque objects block the waves of light ray. To form a shadow, we require both light rays and opaque objects. Nature of shadow depends on the source of light and the distance between the object and light source. The shadows are formed because of the property that light travels in a straight line. Positions, direction and length of the shadows keep changing throughout the day. In olden days, people noted time depending on the formation of shadows. Clocks designed based on the formation of shadows are called sun clocks. Shadows are formed when an opaque object blocks the light. The earth and the moon are also opaque objects and they too form shadows in space. This is called an eclipse. There are two types of eclipse. They are solar and lunar eclipse. The earth is a satellite that revolves around the sun. The moon is a subsidiary satellite that goes around the earth. In this moment, on a particular full moon night, all the three objects that is the sun, the earth and the moon fall in a straight line with the earth in the center. The earth being an opaque object blocks the light of the sun from falling on the moon. The moon is completely in the dark shadow of the earth. It is called a total lunar eclipse. Similarly, during the movement of the earth, sun and moon in space, at one time on a new moon night, the sun, moon and earth fall in a straight line with the moon in the middle. 
The moon, which is an opaque object, blocks the light of the sun from falling on the earth. As a result, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. People living only in that part of the earth where the moon's shadow is caused cannot see the sun. This is called solar eclipse. When the entire sun is hidden, it is called a total solar eclipse. When the sun is hidden partially, it is called a partial solar eclipse.